Hello guys and good morning. Well, good morning for me because it is 7.30 in the morning on a Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. I am Cyan. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I wanted to walk you through one of my new favorite makeup looks I've done in a really long time and something I've been continuously going back to and what I wore for my NF concert, what I wore for my birthday, and a few other like random days um, in the last like month or so in the last few weeks. So I have a slew of makeup here. I have a bunch of techniques that I've been doing. You don't need these a lot of these specific products if you have things that you have in your collection or you don't even have a collection you just have like a routine your staple products one thing for each part of your face use that you can it's more so of the technique and just paying attention to what you're doing and i will say the big big thing is skin prep for the concert i think i took about 40 minutes to do my makeup that day but i was watching bridgerton and i was simultaneously like just i was taking my time when i have big events like that i typically try to give myself the most amount of time because i don't want to be rushed and mess up especially because i was using false lashes i haven't done in a while and I wanted to do some really crazy skin prep and I just in those situations don't want to rush myself but I will say I've been it a few more times and I've been able to cut back the time that I've done it in. First thing that you want to do and what I did for the concert was I did crazy amount of skin prep. I drove all day and I had been awake since like five or six in the morning so I ended up really like deep cleansing my face and then I did two face masks a pore tightening one from ITK it's the color changing and then I also did a hydration mask now I don't have time for that every single day I'd love to do that but I don't have time for that so instead what I did was I just cleansed my face this morning and I also am going to, or I did, do my skincare. Something I also did last night to prep for this was use castor oil on my face. I did this a lot in the beginning of the year and I kind of just got lazy with the routine and haven't done it as much, but I've gone back to it in the last week or so and I do see a difference in how my makeup lays and applies and how it wears throughout the day, especially under my eyes and around my nose. It stays much much better and those are the two places that I have the worst problem with I'm gonna shave my face um, off camera and then I'll come back and um, we'll continue on now that I've done that what I did again is moisturized and then I ended up doing an under eye mask and a full face mask I'm not doing that I don't have time for that on a regular basis is some kind of moisturizer so I have this moisturizer up here and I'm just gonna like apply this to my skin. And I know they say to keep like allow moisturizers to sink into the skin and like skin care um, and then like skin prep and even like your primers and stuff. So that is what I did. I allowed that all to pretty much sink in um, or I am going to allow it so that initial layer the next thing I'm going to use is the Tatcha the silk canvas primer now I'm going to use this in my most porous areas so the tops of my cheeks between my brows I like to do it around my nose too. It just keeps everything really smooth. What I did after is I let all of that sit and I started on my hair and my eyes. So for me right now, what I'm going to start on is my eyes. I used an OG palette of mine. I've talked about this for years in my content. If you go back to my earliest of videos, I've talked about this. This is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I love this palette. This is, I think, my second or third one. 
and that's saying something because I don't typically repurchase palettes, but this is such a good, versatile palette if you are looking for, first of all, travel friendly. This is amazing. It has a mirror and everything, but these are wonderful basic matte shades. You can create a, a warm look. You can create a cool look, and I love that. It's your staple shades like it's just great i used this palette on my mom for her wedding several years ago i brought this palette on many a travel occasion because this is just the one that i love to bring it gives me the most versatility for different looks it's all matte and i i actually really enjoy all matte palettes i think they're very very sophisticated for the looks that i go for anymore that's actually how i feel about this makeup look i think it's very classy and elegant and it's it's my skin and my face and me just enhanced and I love that. So this is the palette that we're going to use. I've also been using this eye primer. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's okay. This is from Believe Beauty. It's their Lock It In Eyeshadow Primer in Universal. I'm going to take the very first two shades here the lightest two in this palette and I'm going to kind of just go all over the eyelid. Kind of setting that primer in place. Next I'm going to take a Morphe and Jaclyn JH34 brush. I'm going to go into the fourth shade here and I'm going to lay this down in my crease um, really blend it out, kind of blow it out, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it on into the inner corner some and kind of just like lay it down everywhere. I want most of the color to be in the crease and be like a big transition and blown out, and then I want a little bit of this color to be on the rest of the lid. Alright. Once I've got that down, I'm going to take the brush that I first started with, and this is going to be my cleanup brush. So I'm just going to buff out the edges. I'm going to take another like tapered brush. This is the JH35 from Morphe, and I'm going to go in the third shade. I'm just going to focus mainly on the outer part of my eye. And blending into that first like transition shade so I just really want to give the outer portion of my eye some depth back to the first brush we're gonna just blend out that edge and make sure that those two are blended together I'm actually gonna go in with my finger and go into the fourth shade and I'm gonna pat this on my lid I'm going to use brownish black eye pencil to just kind of do a little bit of liner on my lid. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm gonna do one coat of mascara now and then once those dry I will do my false lashes. This mascara is from Rare Beauty. You're gonna see a lot of Rare Beauty in today's video just because I used a lot of Rare Beauty. That does not mean that you need to go out and buy Rare Beauty or anything specific that I have. If you want to buy anything, buy the Men for Matte palette. It's, it used to be $10. I think it is still $10, but if you're going to buy anything, buy this. I'm going to do my brows really quick. Again, I'm using Rare Beauty. I really love all of the Rare Beauty products that I have. On to foundation. I am using the Rare Beauty foundation. This is in the shade 130N. That's the shade that I'm in. I really like this foundation and I like the formula of the foundation. What I do is what I'm doing right now. I typically focus on the outer part of my face first and then where I need the most coverage, I lay it down with a doe foot. And then what I've been doing is I've been using my e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush and I've actually been using this to apply my foundation. I work in really small sections, so I'm not wearing a ton of foundation, which is something I've just really been enjoying. I don't like the feeling of wearing a lot of makeup. I used to. I thought I was like in a 
badge of honor you know 2015 2016 makeup <laughs> I am not there anymore I like the look of it I just don't want to wear a ton of it so I just want to be like a lighter I also try to avoid my under eyes because we're going to go in with concealer. The less products you have there, the less chance that it's going to crease. And then I love this brush because I can get around my brows really easily. Um, I don't always do my brows first, but sometimes I like to. We were just rolling with the eyes, so I thought we would finish up. And I'm not like super precise and like getting up close to my mirror and seeing like oh are there brush strokes are there you know is there something peeking through is it whatever I do the most of it with the brush and then I will go down and pounce with my beauty sponge and just kind of smooth everything out the other reason I start on the outer edge of my face so I like to work out and then in because I'm going to put more product on the center of my face than I am going to on the perimeter so if I could have more foundation on the perimeter of my face start there which is typically where I want the most product and work and blend inward and then once I'm applying all of the concealer and powder and contour and bronzer and blush and everything once I put all of that on which is centered in your face um then I'm not going to it's just it, it's less product it's less looking heavy to me less feeling heavy I'm gonna go in with the beauty sponge and I'm just going to make sure everything is worked in and smoothed out I don't want anything laying on top of the skin. I want it to look like my skin. And again, I don't take this long to typically do this. Um, it's just because I'm talking through it, of course. We are going to do bronzer. I'm using the bronzer stick from Rare Beauty and Power Boost. What I'm gonna do is I am going to take my brush and I'm going to put the product right on the brush. This is actually something that I learned from a video that Selena Gomez did. Um, she did it with Robert Welsh and I thought it was a very informative. I loved that she said to apply it this way. So, gives you a little bit more control with the product. And then she said to work upwards with it, which, duh. It just gives your skin such a nice, nice, nice glow. I like to do my bronzer different than everybody else, and that's fine. Makeup is makeup. I like to go by a theory, and then whatever I think looks best on me. Um, and then I will, again, kind of pounce with the beauty sponge. Yes, this is damp, just so you know. Do my concealer. I did two, so I did the Rare Beauty under eye brightener and then I actually used the Be Bright from Koki Cosmetics as well in Fair. This one, this one actually brightens more than I think the Rare Beauty does, but I like the feeling of the Rare Beauty because it's got like cooling rollerball. Oh god, that makes it look so good. Those two together are so good on their own they're good but the cokey one man the cokey one is just so good i'm going to use the tiniest bit of setting powder because i actually want to do very very light layers i am using the l'oreal paris hydra perfect perfecting loose powder i really like this stuff it's like six bucks at walmart and then my powder puff and blotting the rest on the back of my hand and then doing very light layers under my eyes. We're not baking, we're just setting. I don't really like baking anymore. I don't I think it's necessary. And then I go down the side of my nose just because I need to set that area. Very light layer. 
if for whatever reason your concealer already balled up in between the two, take your beauty sponge or your brush or whatever, even your finger, and just tap that area out and then set it. It won't, you're not, you won't be setting that crease. Um, it's probably still going to crease. It won't be as bad. And then I just do a little in the center of the forehead. I apologize for all the cars you're hearing go by. I have learned editing is extremely... I have been doing videos for eight years and I just... I have the hardest time <laughs> um, trying to edit out cars and sometimes I don't even notice. You're just gonna have to deal with the sound of cars until I invest in like a microphone or something. I'm gonna set the other part of my face. This is the e.l.f. Uh, camo powder foundation in Fair 120N. And I'm just going to set this part. I set my cream bronzer with a powder bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Forever Sun Kissed powder bronzer. It just looks so good when I do it this way and just keeps the pigment there. It looks unkissed and blown out and it looks so good. Just enough to kind of set everything, reinforce the cream. What I'm going to do goes against all rules in makeup. <laughs> I'm going to use a cream blush over semi-set makeup I've done. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Hope. I'm going to do honey, two dots. Take my brush and blend it out. I love the way that this looks and it also stays a really long time. And my face typically eats blush. I think most people's do just because of pores and everything. But I love the way that this looks. So that's not as cleaned up as I want to be. But I always move on to the next side. And I think this formula works so well that this is able to be achieved. I just tried it one day and I have never looked back. Um, that was a lot on this side. So I will show you how to clean that up. I like to go into the bronzer too. This side had a lot of product on it. So because there was a lot, what I do is I take my sponge whatever product is left on it I go right over it and kind of like just melt it in diffuse it a little bit I'm gonna spray my face I used a combination of rare beauty and I used a combination of one size both of these I've heard really great things about so I wanted to try them especially for the concert today we're just gonna use a rare beauty And then I'm me, and I use a stand like this. Now that that's good and set, I'm going to go back to my eyes really quick. Again, I know I'm taking longer. I typically do this pretty fast, but it's just the little thing. So I, when I did my concealer, I kind of cut into my eye a little bit more than I'd like. So I'm going to draw kind of that line back in with my brush and blow this edge out a little bit more back to where it was. Nothing crazy, just a little cleanup. It's just like a little maintenance. It's really the small things, the finishing touches that really make a makeup look and you, you feel like you're very put together. I'm gonna apply the false lashes that I have. These are the Impress Press On Falsies in the style Sassy Wispy.
what I was wearing in the video when I did the vlog was um, a Koki Cosmetics lip. I don't know that I was wearing this lip liner. I don't think I was. But it's okay. A lip liner and warm nude from Koki Cosmetics. And then I wore their liquid lipstick in Nirvana. And this was just perfect. It went like with the cool tone vibes. And I'm realizing how much more of a cool tone person I am. I have been obsessed with this lipstick in Nude Lust from Maybelline. So I like to go over. Really just ties in the look together. Rare Beauty highlighter. I bought this on my trip. This highlighter is beautiful. I actually didn't wear highlighter for the concert, I don't think. I actually don't really remember. spritzes of the rare beauty do my hair off camera and then we'll come back and we'll kind of go over a few other things and wrap up this is the final look I love this makeup I think I I just look and feel the most confident I think it does the most for my eyes and my face shape and just like everything I love it I actually might I might take a little bit of this blush I think this is why I didn't wear highlighter because I wore this blush I'm pretty sure for the concert but I love it I just I love this look it is one of my favorites I've done it a really really long time I can do it a million different ways and change it up a few different ways and just look wonderful it's spectacular and I feel the best so that's always my favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long talk through style video. I haven't done a tutorial like this in a really long time, if not ever, at least not to this degree. So if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below and by giving this video a big thumbs up. If you're not already, make sure you are subscribed so you see more of my content. I do a lot of vlogs, I do a lot of lifestyle, but I occasionally will do videos like this where I get back into the love of makeup and talk immensely about beauty. So if you like all of that and want to see more, make sure you are subscribed and turn on your post notification bell when I upload every Monday. 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, that is it for me today. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was something different. I had fun with it. Um, now I'm going to go to work and have a good day and get a lot done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Have a wonderful life, and I will talk to you next week. Bye, guys.